In this video, you will see how to set up and analyze a user-defined representative volume element in Material Designer. Material Designer will be used to study the material of a rotor for an electric motor. A typical material architecture for this application consists of a multi-layered laminate, where stacked steel layers are bonded together with an insulating epoxy layer. Such laminated sheets are used instead of a solid block to reduce eddy current loss in the stator cores of high-speed, high-performance induction motors. This lamination stack-up is not a standard RVE type directly available in Material Designer. That's why a user-defined RVE is used. After starting Material Designer and choosing a user-defined RVE type in the ribbon bar, bodies from space claim can be simply dragged across and dropped into the active Material Designer window to create the geometries for the user-defined RVE. New material phases are then added to the RVE model tab in the tree, and the material properties are assigned to these. In the geometry tab of the tree, one material phase is assigned to each body. Steel is assigned to the top, epoxy to the middle, and steel to the bottom body. Mesh parameters and boundary conditions can be specified. After the homogenized properties have been calculated, these can be transferred to engineering data and used in subsequent analyses. To investigate the frequency response of the rotor, the material designer is connected to a model analysis system. The homogenized orthotropic properties will be used directly in the analysis. A model of the rotor featuring very thin epoxy layers in between the steel sheets would require an extremely fine mesh. The presence of the thin epoxy layers would lead to an increase of meshing and solution time compared to a model that uses homogenized material properties computed with Material Designer. The newly generated material from Material Designer is no longer isotropic and care has to be taken to orient the material accordingly. All element coordinate systems of the rotor are oriented to be in line with the lamination direction of the RVE. The model can then be solved and used to investigate the vibration modes of the rotor. Material Designer. Material homogenization made easy.